motherfucker, listen. My name is Zach, the culture. Mind my own business, just chilling. Other niggas out here wanna start killing. People change, but you refuse to try. Always being stressed till the day you die. Finally, bruh, a good superhero game. I can't remember the last time I played a good superhero game, man. Like, as far as I can remember, bro, the last good superhero game I played was Injustice 2 back in 2017. That's how long it's been, bro. Fuck Marvel Avengers. Fuck Spider-Man PS4. And fuck Spider-Man Miles Morales. Fuck those games, man. I right? Like... I just hate not superhero video games, but superhero movies. I I really hope Black Adam is the game changer. Um, Cause I'm not planning on seeing that movie until next week. I really hope that I got some good superhero content coming out. Because Gotham Knights, I'm grateful for this game and I'm truly thankful for this game, bro. I needed this game. Cause this game is revolutionary in my opinion. I'm gonna get more on that. And this game has gotten me back into superhero games. I needed this game because it is so refreshing. This game is refreshing as hell. Cause you just been getting trash ass superhero game after trash ass superhero game in my opinion. Marvel Avengers, Spider-Man PS4, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Guardians of the Galaxy. Now you got Gotham Knights, a brilliant ass game. Dope that, bruh, that pile of trash that I just listed, bruh. Those games don't even breathe the same air as Gotham Knights. This game is a fucking masterpiece upon a masterpiece, man. All right? Now, this is definitely a game of the year contender. I wanted to call this my best game of 2022, but it's funny how I'll say that this is my best game of 2022, and then only a week later, I say, well, actually, Bayonetta 3 is. All right? Now, I've been dealing with shit IRL, so it's, I've been really pissed, right? This proves how much I love this game. I've been dealing with shit IRL, so I couldn't put as much time as I wanted to into this game. And I am grinding the hell out of this game, right? And I can't wait to tell you guys the details on why I love Gotham Knights so much. But yes, this is the most... I'm a, You know, I'm going to go ahead and say it right here. This is the most... I'm going to label this game... I'm going to label Gotham Knights as the most refreshing game of the decade to me it's subjective to me but yeah shout out to my favorite superhero games of all time gotham knights of course injustice 2 uh the amazing spider-man back on ps3 xbox 360 spider-man edge of times the batman arkham series shout out to those games man but just garbage upon garbage released in a row in the superhero video game franchise Spider-Man PS4, Spider-Man Miles Morales, Marvel Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy. They weren't just born, they were god-awful. But Gotham Knights, man, that's why I'm labeling it as the most refreshing game, in my opinion, of the decade. I hadn't had a good superhero game in almost half a decade. That's how sad it is, bro. And I really hope Black Adam, it's not just superhero video games. I really hope Black Adam is about to get me back into superhero movies because I hate the Avengers Endgame. I hate the Infinity War, those long drawn out pieces of shit. I hate the Spider-Man movies, Spider-Man Homecoming, Far From Home, No Way Home. I hated those movies. Hated them, man. So I really hope Black Adam is the game changer like the reviews say. So I just hope that I got some good superhero content coming that's going to help me become a superhero fan again, man, because I can't remember the last time I genuinely had some good superhero content. So that's why I'm so thankful for Gotham Knights, and, I, and I'm glad I'm about to explain why I love this game so much. So let's start with the graphics, all right, what we mainly start with. Of course, social media links are in the description. Get that out the way. Follow your boy on Twitch and my anime channel. Bro, the graphics are so goddamn gorgeous. Now, before this game came out, I was watching Dashy Games play, and I was like, God damn. Bro, they look so spectacular, man. I love the detail. Uh, Nightwing, he looks great. Red Hood looks dope. Uh, Robin looks dope. And Batgirl looks dope. And they look even more dope, which I'm about to get into in a little bit. But the graphics, man, they are really, really detailed. Now, let me explain my number one favorite part of the graphics what the graphics really shine that gotham city 
Gotham City looks so goddamn dope, bro. I just love getting on my bike, which is another thing I'm gonna get into in a second. Like I said, bro, this is a game of the year contender. I, I don't want to say it's best game of the year because I don't want to call it his best game of 2022 and then take that back like less than a week later when Bayonetta 3 comes out. But Gotham nice man, it's just the amount of detail, the texture of Gotham City. I love it to Delph. Oh no, but Delph, wait a minute Delph. It's 30 frames per second. Oh shit. Oh man, Gotham Knights is in 30 frames per second. Oh man, well I can't play it no more. It's in 30 frames per second. Shit, it's not like the games I've been playing for the past half a decade now uh, were 30 frames per second, and I never noticed because I didn't give a shit. But oh man, it's 30 frames per second. Oh, whatever shall I do? Oh, 30 frames per second. Well, shit, I gotta sell my PS5 now. I can't play no 30 frames per second game, man. Get the fuck out of here. But yes, oh man, the graphics. Truly where this game shines. One of the reasons where this game shines, man. But my favorite part of the graphics is Gotham City. I love how Gotham City looks in this game. I remember like like any other game with gorgeous graphics. I had to just stand on top of buildings and look around like God damn. Oh, for you as soon as you can. And while I'm at it, bro, the suits, you know, on all my superheroes, mainly Robin and Batgirl, because those are my two main grind characters, um, they look amazing. And just the places that you visit throughout the missions, uh, which I'm going to get into in a second, like I said, fucking game's incredible. They all look fantastic, man. It's just great. Now, let's get to the gameplay. Now, we're going to start small and work our way up in the gameplay category. So, let's start with the driver mechanics. The driver mechanics, they are really, really great. They are fluent, man. No problems. The drifting is perfect. It's just amazing. Uh, riding the motorcycle is fast-paced, fluent, it's smooth. It's so goddamn great. I love it to death, man. Love it to fucking death, bro. And... Like, I just have such a good time driving because you get to eject, bro, and just land into these goddamn uh, cases and stuff like that. It's great, man. Now, we cover driving mechanics. Now, people, for the people that's been watching me for a while, they know I love comparing games I hate to games I love. So, in Guardians of the Galaxy, bro, you constantly have to keep reviving AIs because the AI can't defend themselves. Alright? Oh, you gotta revive this person you gotta revive Drax you gotta revive um, Rocky you feel me that's what you constantly have to do in Guardians of the Galaxy nope in Gotham Knights you can play as Red Hood Nightwing Robin Batgirl you know one at a time who do you want to take for this mission who do you want to take for this mission now this is where the game earns its bonus points because I respect video game developers that actually care I like I said Fuck um, Insomniac, Spider-Man Miles Morales, they just took Spider-Man PS4, added Miles Morales, changed the story, you got a new game. You feel me? I do respect Warner Bros because you can tell that they weren't lazy with this game because no matter what superhero you use, uh, you get different dialogue for each character. Each character that you pick, you're going into the mission with different moments, different dialogues and stuff like that. Like, I went into this one mission with Nightwing, and I can't wait to go into this mission with Batgirl and see how it all plays out. But yes, I truly respect Warner Bros. for the effort. I, they got all my respect, and that's what this game earns as bonus points. Guess what, y'all? I can use Red Hood if I want to use Red Hood. I can use Robin if I want to use Robin. I can use Batgirl, Nightwing, if I want to use them. Oh, but in Guardians of the Galaxy, you can only use, uh, what's that nigga name? No disrespect to Guardians of the Galaxy. I do love the movies. I just hated the game. But what's that nigga name? Uh, Star-Lord. Bro, I was Googling everything. Star-Lord. All right, bro. So, yeah, in Guardians of the Galaxy, you can only play as Star-Lord. But it's so crazy, man. I truly, truly love this game for that. Like I said, I labeled this game as a refreshing game. Now, the combat, one of the most important parts 
of gameplay. It is so fucking great. And I love how you got skill points. I love how you can unlock abilities through progressing the game. Now, I know this is like typical video game stuff. You feel me? Of course, um, you play the game, you grind, and you get skill points to unlock even more abilities and add more depth to the combat. I know that's typical. This game does a really good job at that because I think it already has great depth to the combat. I love the power moves. I love the special abilities. Really love that. I guess so far my favorite one is, um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's the one when you play as Robin. I love the one with Robin. He leaves a clone to himself, and if the enemy hits it, it explodes. That is my favorite one so far. special moves man um the power attacks that bad girl has i love every single one of them can't list them off the top of my head because i just love that i got a new ability i add it and i just do it and like the combat is so great man i love interrogating the bad guys and i love how you know it's giving me that uh batman arkham vibe again and that's another thing i want to get into but i'm gonna save that for later for a separate category but i love interrogating people and everything man but let me go ahead and get it out the way because knowing my dumb ass, I will forget because I didn't add it to my script. But this game reminds me of the Arkham games, which is another personal reason why I love this game so much because it does remind me of the Arkham games. It truly does. Let me explain why. So in Batman Arkham City and probably the other Arkham games, I played Arkham Asylum, but that was like a decade ago. But in Arkham City, I love how Arkham City, you had two faces bad guys, you had Penguin's bad guys, and Joker's bad guys. In this game, you got separate bad guys. You got the freaks, the mobs, and the regulators, I think. So I really love that, how you got separate bad guys that you deal with. Fuck the regulators. I hate them because they keep freezing me and shit. Fuck them. It's awesome, man. I truly love it. it. Gives me that Arkham City vibe. The You know, you got the gliding and stuff like that. I truly love that. You know, combat does remind me of Batman, Arkham, and stuff like that. Really, 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 really love the Arkham feel with this game. And it's just an all-around great game, man. I love the combat. And I really, really love, like, that's why this game is revolutionary. It's refreshing. Everything. I just love the open world gotham city is so big and it's gorgeous in my opinion i truly truly love it like i just love how in between missions i can go like god damn and it's just this is not just some repetitive piece of shit it's not and you don't got me doing tedious ass shit like the spider-man ps4 you got me playing as you know i love comparing games i hate the games i love you got me playing as mary jane and got me collecting documents and shit you got me playing as peter parker and you got me helping people at the homeless shelter i don't want to do tedious ass shit like that but in this game bro i love the puzzles I've been sitting here trying to think of a good way to explain the puzzles to y'all, but the puzzles are so unique and creative and different. So yes, I'm going to just say the puzzles, they are really creative and I love them, man. Now, keep in mind, right? Keep in mind, this is a subjective review. Personal reasons why I love the game. Now, since we're getting towards the end of this review slash video, the reason this game is so revolutionary to me, this game is taking all my favorite superhero games and putting it into one. I'm glad I can save this for last. One of the main reasons, if not the main reason, I love this game so much. It is revolutionary to me. And it's a personal reason why I love this game. It's taking all my favorite superhero games, putting it into one. For example, Injustice 2. One of the main things, if not the main thing I loved about Injustice 2, creating your own super, not creating, but customizing your own superheroes and making them look how you want them to look. How do I want my Joker to look and stuff like that. And depending on how good you do or how much you grind, depends on uh, your epic gear, your common, stuff like that. Depending on how good you do or how much you play the game and how much time you invest into the game, you're going to get quality high gear like in Injustice 2 and I love that. Same thing with Gotham Knights 
Warner Bros, I love you for this. You brought that back. How much time you invest into the game, how much you play, the missions you do, the challenges you do, and just how much you grind, how much you're invested into the game, you get quality gear. And because I put so much time into the game, I've been playing this game for two days now, just now putting the controller down, I already got some high ass gear. Like, look at my bad girl as of the recording of this video. Look at my bad girl as of October 23rd, 2022. This is my bad girl. Look at my Robin as of the recording of this video, all right? And that's so great because shit, by tomorrow, my bad girl might be looking totally different. And if I didn't have a job, if I didn't have a full-time job, bruh, my Robin, my bad girl might be fucking gods by the end of this month. If I didn't have a full-time job and Bayonetta 3 and Star Ocean wasn't coming out, they would be gods, all right? Um, Nightwing and Red Hood, I'm not really playing with them. I'm saving them for my next playthrough because I know I'm about to beat this game quick as hell. But yes, and another thing, Batman Arkham City with Gotham. Like I explained earlier, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. But like I said, with the city, beautiful, gorgeous Gotham City. From the combat, it gives me Batman Arkham City vibes on the freaks, the regulators, the mob, stuff like that. Separate gangs and stuff like that. I truly, truly love that. All right? And I love the driver mechanics and everything. I truly, truly love this game from everything I explained in my review, man. Oh, man. From customizing my heroes, making them look how I want them to look. Um, multiplayer so far from what I've experienced. I haven't really experienced it much. But I experienced um, multiplayer with this one person that I got added on my friends list. And to me, it's not that bad, bro. But yeah, um, if I have to give a score... Keep in mind, y'all gonna think I'm crazy for this score, but you have to keep in mind, Gotham Knights, this is a refreshing ass game. This game is revolutionary in my opinion because it takes all of my favorite superhero games and put it into one. Oh, and I also, bro, I almost forgot. I'm so glad I remembered this. Yes, adding on to the category of this game taking all my favorite superhero games, putting it into one, in the Amazing Spider-Man on the Xbox 360, if you were just walking down the street, people would be like, oh, there's Spider-Man. Oh, look, it's Spider-Man. Oh, look, Spider-Man. And people would get so excited. Oh, is that Spider-Man? And people would be taking pictures of you and stuff like that. People would be clapping, getting excited. I love that. In this game, they do that. I love how I'm Batgirl or I'm Robin. You feel me? And I'll be walking down the street. Oh, is that Batgirl? Wait, is that really Batgirl? Hey, have you guys seen Batgirl? She's over there. I love that. Adding life, adding quality to the game. Wonder Bros, you do that shit, nigga. They did not take the easy way out. They, bruh, they could have been so lazy with this game. Wonder Bros, you do that shit. So you take that. They put all my favorite superhero games into one. What I love about my favorite superhero games, they put it into one. It's a refreshing game. Hadn't had a good superhero game since 2017. I give this game a 100 out of 10. <laughs> I give this game a 100 out of 10. You're, you're going to be on, the, on that list at the end of the year, Gotham Knights. You're going to be on that list. But it's your boy, Delph. Warner Bros. Thank you for such a great game. It's your boy, Delph. I'm out.